bar and ball. Bar and ball. Bar. I have uh, lightly brushed it up with a toothbrush. Knock some dirt off. That's all. It appears to be iron. It is rectangular with a blunt point at one end. Here are the dimensions. We have about 5.6 cubic centimeters of material here. Point three four cubic inches. It's 20 grams, 0.7 ounces. Ball appears to be iron of a different sort, different composition. It is blacker and not as rusted. It is a sphere with an attachment point, a stem. Size and weight. Now please notice, it is, it is ten times smaller than the bar, but it's not ten times lighter. It's only three times lighter, not even three times. Of course my mind wants to go to gold, and we are in that ballpark, and hello, what is this? A speck of shiny yellow. So what are they? Well, first let's look at the history of the site. What is known? A Buddhist temple burned down here in 1553. What's unknown is how long it stood here before it burned down. We believe this to be a camp, a living quarters of our 7th century castle. This raised enclosed platform, Kurua, is perfect classic castle architecture, not temple architecture. Our castle was built circa 666 or 667 AD, decommissioned 719, we know that. Is it more likely that anything we find is going to come from the temple period or the castle period? We know how long the castle was in service. Let's stretch the temple lifespan to the very maximum. We'll say the Buddhists came up here and started recycling the castle right after decommissioning. Maybe they were even waiting for it to be decommissioned and they pounced on it. I'm not, I'm not inferring anything bad or blaming the Buddhists. I would have done the same. I would have pounced on that castle too. Um, that would give it a lifespan of 833 years, the temple. Castle, open for 53 years only. So looking just at their possible durations, we might say temple, overwhelmingly, but I don't think so. Temple, we don't know that anyone lived here. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Why would they? Easier to live in the town below. Easier, more comfortable. It's a short hike up here in the morning and a short hike home. You could even hike up and down for lunch. Hike down for lunch, hike back up. But let's be super generous and give it a continuous residence up top of 10 people, two households, two monks, and their respective families. That gives us 8,330 person years, lived person years. Castle, our raised kurua, raised platform enclosure, is conveniently 
the size of the camp of a Roman cohort. That was a standard size. Post-Marian reforms cohort. Um, the common number is 480 men. I know it varied, but the, the, the most common number. 480 men. Add officers, commander, personal servants. I think we can round it up to 500. That's 26,500 man years. And I think the castle garrison was larger. But this cohort that was camped right here guarding this ridge line up, well, let's say it had 500 men living in it. Compounding this, who works with metal? Who has metal hanging off them, hanging off their bodies? Who wears metal? Whose job requires lots of metal? Well, of course, these metal heads right here. So, overwhelmingly, I think items are likelier to be castle period, not temple period. Our bar was found here, probably the site of a gate at the top of these steps, castle gate, which would have been kept into the temple period, recycled, maybe even rebuilt once or twice. Armored gate, yes, this could be a bit of iron off the gate, maybe a decoration off the gate. Castle sentries. Narrow gate. These lads have to stand aside, don't they, to let people pass, let people in and out. They're going to rub against the gate posts, aren't they? Especially in bad weather. You have your little gate house, and they want to stay in the shade out of the sun or stay out of the rain so they're they're going to be hugging those gate posts rubbing up against them the bar has a beveled stud in the middle looks like this beveled stud on this strip of metal could this be a piece of lamellar that broke off of this fellow's lamellar armor when he was rubbing up against a, a post. I think it could be. Bit of gate or bit of armor? Our best guesses. The ball with its attachment point, its stem, could be a temple instrument, a temple decoration, but what? I have no idea. Castle. I do have an idea. I mean, there is this fellow's gilded helmet with spherical knobs held onto the helmet by attachment points. Period correct. I mean, there is this fellow's gilded helmet. If you have any ideas at all, please share them. I'm going to study more. I'm going to poke the ball a little bit with a needle, see if I can uncover any more gold. And I think I might take it to the jeweler. <laughs> Just see if he wants to give any opinion. Uh, as soon as I know more, I'll share with you. Have a good week, and I love you. Hey, if you live in Fukuyama or the area, or you want to come and visit, come and help. There's lots to do. We need the help. Lots of adventures to be had. Contact me.